Hello and welcome to this exercise on the volumes of a cylinder, the volume for a sphere, the increase in height and change of subject. Now this is a question from my, an IGCSE or GCSE paper and I hope you find it interesting. Now basically what's happened here is that we've got uh, water already in this cylinder here and the height of water is H. We also have this sphere which has a density greater than that of water, which is heavier than water. And there's enough water in the cylinder to submerge completely this sphere when it's dropped into the cylinder. Now, when it's dropped into the cylinder, obviously there's displacement of water. So the height of water will then increase. We are asked to find the increase in the height of water in the cylinder in terms of R. And that's our task. Now, firstly, uh, the volume of the sphere is 4 over 3 pi. 3R three cubed is going to be 3R because, uh, because the radius of the cylinder is 3R. So that'd be 3R cubed. Now, as a result of dropping the cylinder, into the, sorry, I'm dropping the, the sphere into the cylinder, there's, a, there's an increase in height uh, caused by the displacement of water. Now, if we call that increase in height T, so the, we then say that the, the, the new volume of water, as it were, is by uh, 4R squared T. Now it's got to be 4R because the radius of the cylinder is 4R. Not just R, it's 4R. So you're going to, going to square all of the 4R there. So all that's equal to the volume of the cylinder. Now, if we then divide both sides by pi, uh, we end up with this. So we now have that 4 R all squared, that 4 squared is 16, and R squared is R, sorry, R, R squared is R squared, T, and if we then cube 3, there we end up with 27, and then we've got R cubed there. If we then write both, uh, if, if we then write the right hand side as 4 over 3, 27 r squared r because r squared times r is r cubed and then if we then divide both sides by r squared we end up with 16t is equal to 4 times 27 over 3 that's from there r don't forget the r there as well if we then divide both sides by 16 we end up with t is equal to 4 times 27 divided by 3 times 16 not forgetting the r there if we now uh, divide the denominator by 4 and the denominator by 4 we end up with 1 over 4 and if we then divide it, <coughs> if we then divide the uh, numerator by 3 and the denominator by 3 as well, we end up with 9 over 1. So t then becomes 9r over 4 centimeters. And that's the same as saying 3 times 3r. So in effect, in verbal terms, the increase in height is 3 quarters the radius of the sphere. And I hope all that made some sense. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. See you again sometime. Bye bye.